Welcome back. So today is the day. And we're going to start this floor. When I left you off, I said I need to make a floor template. Well, here's what I did. I'm going to show you how it fits, and then I'm going to show you why this was important. Put paper on this room, the library, and I put paper on this room, which was that upstairs room we just finished, simply because when I put the flooring down, we're going to have the sander in here, and it's going to be creating sand, um, fine sawdust. I didn't want to have to go through and dust and clean rooms any more than I had to, so I kind of just tried to cover them. Anyway, here's our floor template. So I put it in there, and I fit it in, and that's our floor. This is how much it's going to get raised. Doing this enabled me to get the exact angles of the walls versus the corners of the walls. It allowed me to create cutouts of the trims that I talk, spoke to you about, the, the one in the corner and this one here. It allows me to do that. So laying this down, actually what I did was I laid all my, my blocks of wood down on my workspace and then I laid this over it and I was able to trace the corners where I need to notch out and the angles of this wall because it tapers it's not straight back and I'm not sure why that is but it is what it is so that's why this is vitally important because it gave me an actual true layout to my floor so with that being said then I I got my blocks and I laid them and we traced around it and I was able to get the corners notched out and if they didn't fit then I was able to uh, put them in my vice grip vice clamp and I was able to saw and sand so that they fit so let's show you how it's going to work I numbered them each so I would have the right layout so this one goes into that corner there this one here goes into this corner and it's really, really tight. So that's a perfect fit. Now this one goes right there because it's got the front part of the notch there. And this one goes, no, okay, this one here is four. This is why I numbered it so I would have the correct place for it. Number three, which is right here, is right here. Four, five, six, and it leaves just a little bit here for our trim. Remember we had talked about going to put trim on here? Okay, so then we're gonna have to go because um, I was trying to use up scrap pieces for this area here. So I have some unusual fittings and I had these little pieces down here so I could put the flooring over it. But then I realized that that's not going to work because this is where I'm going to back up the top floor for the subfloor to be one step and that's going to be there. So these we're gonna to have to move up here to that space okay. like that this here we're gonna have to go like this have to make sure we leave enough space so that this will butt up against there like that. So this will all get glued down like that because then we'll 
I have the top floor, the top flooring. My husband put some wood, some lumber through the planer to bring it down to the thickness I thought would work right. And then he put it through the jointer to give us one straight edge. And then he cut these all on the bandsaw because once you have it set, the guide set up for the proper width this way, you can just zip them through. So this is going to be the top floor then. I have four pieces of dark wood, I think, so that we can um, create some kind of a pattern using that. Now I'm trying, still trying to decide, do I want the floor planks to go this way or would it be better to go this way with them because that would create, okay, this way would create the illusion of the floor being um, wider this way. This way gives the illusion of the floor, the room being more wide because the eye is following that that way. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to go this way with them. Now, right about here is where I want the step back. So um, we would go probably like step, step, right? Probably about there is where we'll start running these boards. And again, I think I'm going to go this way with them. I'm just putting it here so you can see how it works because that'll give us plenty of room here and you would theoretically step down and go up the stairs or if you step down to go out the door you still have enough travel room here. Our railing will go across here. It'll stop here. We'll have a post probably here with probably a one spindle gap and then we'll have a post here and then here the railing going there. And then over here, <clears throat> we'll revert the process for these doors and have it step down with a little hand railing here and a little hand railing here. The same for this door here. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's where we're headed with this now. Um, for these short ones, we're simply going to have to cut the wood so it's a perfect fit between this step and this step. Um, and because um, I really don't want it to go this way. Of course, I don't know. Maybe that is the way to go. All right, so I'm thinking we should just go ahead and get started with this gluing here. So we're gonna put some glue on here and here. Put a little bit here and a little bit here. We don't have to get wild and crazy because, um, well, just because we don't. And we'll put a little bit of glue down in here. And let's, all right, put this in here like this. And we'll put that up there like that. Here we go, and down she goes. First two pieces are glued in. This one here, we'll do the same thing. And that's the 
a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, because um, the floor, the true floor planks and things will hold it all together. We just want enough to stop it from scooting. Okay, just keep going down the way here. Okay, feels nice and flat. Um, let's go ahead and just glue some of these. This one here, right about there. This one right about here. Let's go ahead and put these on here. That looks pretty good. I'll bring this a little bit. Okay. Because like I said, these don't have to be tight against each other because um, Floor planking is quite thick, actually, so it'll give it the stability. Um, as it is, this slip flooring is going to give this dollhouse a lot more weight, making it heavier to transport around. So um, if we can help lighten up the load, that'll be good. If not, well, this is something I want in my dollhouse anyway, so we're going with it. Okay, now let's find a long piece of trim to bring everybody up to there. Oh, we have to do this, couldn't we? Okay, now we can just bring everybody to it. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Huh? All right, I'm going to go find some stuff to weigh it down. All right, I have it uh, glued down. It's weighed down. Um... 
We're going to let it dry overnight. So I look forward to hearing what you guys' thoughts are on the direction of the floor planks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Let me know what you think. Bye.